Hi guys, today we're going to show you around some places you could visit in Amsterdam. Amsterdam is the Netherlands' capital, known for its artistic heritage, elaborate canal system and narrow houses with gabled facades. Its museum district houses the Van Gogh Museum, works by Rembrandt and Vermeer at the Rijksmuseum, and modern art at the Stedelijk. Cycling is key to the city's character, and there are numerous bike paths. The first place to visit in Amsterdam is the Arte Jordaan. Often cited as Amsterdam's most charming neighborhood, wandering into the Jordaan feels like stepping back in time. Originally a working-class area, the Jordaan's narrow streets and quaint buildings now make up one of Amsterdam's most desirable quarters, dotted with independent art galleries, antique shops, courtyard gardens and atmospheric bars and restaurants. Ditch the map and lose yourself in the labyrinth of narrow lanes that sprawl eastwards from Prinsengracht Canal known as the Nine Streets, one of Amsterdam's most rewarding shopping experiences. The second place to visit is Cycle to the Hidden Gems. There are over 800,000 bicycles in Amsterdam. That's more bikes than people. Cycling in Amsterdam is a way of life, made easier by the city's unbeatable network of cycle routes and flat landscape. Amsterdam regularly comes out on top in lists of the world's most cycle-friendly cities, and there's no finer way to explore the region's attractions than by pedal power. Hop on your bike and head to Slaughterplas for a dip in the sprawling lake, or cycle over to Oderkirk on de Amstel to explore a 12th-century village idol packed with historic sites. Many of Amsterdam's best-kept secrets can be discovered from the comfort of your saddle. Another thing you could do in Amsterdam is to try herring from the herring cart. Raw herring may sound a little scary to the uninitiated, but every visitor to Amsterdam should give it a go. You'll spot herring handles, herring carts, serving up this Dutch speciality all over the city. Ask for a broodgy herring to get the fish served in a small sandwich with pickles and onions. The best time to try raw herring is between May and July when the herring is said to be at its sweetest. Still hungry? See if you can taste your way through all of these traditional Dutch snacks during your visit. The fourth thing you could do in Amsterdam is to visit the countryside or beaches or go to see the windmills. If you're in town for more than a few days, then plan a day trip to explore the diverse attractions of the surrounding area. Just a short hop from Amsterdam lies a rich landscape of gorgeous countryside, beaches, windmills and historic towns, all easily reachable from the city centre. Just 20 minutes from Amsterdam Central by train, the picturesque city of Harlem overflows with history and culture, plus a great selection of shops, cafes and restaurants. And if lying on a beach is more your thing, then the beautiful golden stretches at Blomondal on Zee and Zontfort on Zee will be happy to oblige with golden sands, dunes and plenty of water sports. Looking for picture-perfect views of windmills, rolling grassland and winding canals? Set your sights on the Zons Shands, a pastoral paradise that's so photogenic it is basically why Instagram was invented. Another thing you could do in Amsterdam is to immerse yourself in the culture at Westergas. It's located at Westerpark, this sprawling complex of former industrial buildings used to be the city's municipal gasworks. Now transformed into a colorful cultural hub, Westergas is home to a variety of tempting bars, restaurants, coffee roasters, a microbrewery, art house cinema, and a whole host of creative businesses. Look out for regular food markets, mini festivals and events held here, such as the vibrant Sunday market held on the first Sunday of every month. Another place to visit is the museums and majestic buildings in Museum Plain. Home to the Rijksmuseum, the Van Gogh Museum, the Stedelijk Museum and the Royal Concertgebouw, Museum Plain is the cultural beating heart of Amsterdam. 
Recently renovated to a world-class standard, the leafy and architecturally astounding 19th-century district of Oud Zuid is an art lover's utopia. The open square between the buildings pulses with activity all day, with open-air exhibitions, markets and a large paddling pool to dip your toes into on warmer days. In the winter months, the square transforms into a vast outdoor ice rink. The good news is you can get a free entry to more than 70 museums with the I Amsterdam City card. Another thing you could do in Amsterdam is to take a cruise past canal houses and bridges. Created in the 17th century to keep the sea at bay, Amsterdam's UNESCO protected canal belt is the quintessential postcard perfect vision of Amsterdam. It is an unbelievably pretty sight, especially after sundown when the bridges are lit up by fairy lights and the whole area takes on a magical feel. Floating along the canals by guided boat tour is a great way to get under the fabric of the city, and you'll learn lots of fascinating facts along the way, such as why the tilting homes along the canals are known as dancing houses. There are many different canal cruises on offer, from hop-on hop-off sightseeing tours to atmospheric candlelit nighttime cruises with food and wine. There are many other things you could do in Amsterdam like having a drink in a bird's eye view of Amsterdam from a rooftop bar, go to a concert at a world-famous venue, catch the free ferry to Amsterdam Nord's renovated shipyard, try local beer at a historic brewery and many more. I hope you have an idea of what you could do when you visit Amsterdam this summer. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like and share with you friends and family.